So this video is about uh, configuration of ZTE BTS SDR. When we are going to uh, install a rollout site, so we need the configuration, and this is really helpful for those who are working in front office or a back office and uh, network operation center. So watch this whole video, and uh, fresh telecom engineers can fully get advantage how to use this SDR LMT software of ZTE so uh, before starting this one I will add its password and username which is admin admin and after that I will upload the uh, site <coughs> file which is here I save that one and after uploading this that configuration will open for main rack UBPG card which is used for 2G and I'm uh, set I'm checking the setting for this card like uh, fiber switch in which we connect our fibers as per uh, configuration the standard I will set this one so UBPG card already is on board now now I connect, uh, add one more rack and check this. check this board information and that will add in this uh, RRU that RRU type ZXDR this is uh, very easy and once you will watch this whole video and you will be able to know that complete configuration process so guys I hope so this video is in good quality and this is very easy to watch Now after, uh, now after opening the basic parameters we add its node BID and any node name and check the parameters as well and now this is SNNT, SNTP server address and I am going to add this server address as provided by my team leads so this is the server address and uh, transmission mode is in IP because we are using the IP version and uh, that technology we are adding for 2G so 2G belongs to GSM services and time zone we select according to our server so now I will check the configuration clock reference line clock ok Let's check its property, check the ATM address, antenna parameters, E1, T1 cables, the media we, we are using it for E1, T1, that is our Ethernet cable. So this environment monitoring will be open, so that is the settings for rack numbers CC is our control card now I'm going to check its serial port serial port is number two I am using now adding this one after checking the rack the rack is number two and the serial port is number one now now this is the topology as you know we have star ring and uh, 
topologies we have so that we are using the ring topology as this video is uh, uh, quite lengthy so I make it four parts so you can check the next configuration procedure in the upcoming videos so now it's sufficient I think <coughs> uh, okay so kindly watch the whole video for the next configurations thank you